I'll tell you, you got to really give it to Donald Trump. The man doesn't know how to follow rules, so he makes his own rules, and he's getting away with it. And I think it's, wow, uh, just incredible. It's just, What a year this is. Bernie supporters are very much like the Trump supporters. And Trump, though, knows how to marshal them, get them moving. And no, don't get mad because we said on both. Bernie supporters and Trump supporters, when I talked to them, I met a lot of Trump supporters uh, this past week. Oh, yeah, they break up the banks. They don't care. And, yeah, they don't you know, really know what to do with foreign policy except maybe bomb ISIS and, and put up a, a wall. And, and they don't like the economy. And, gosh, it sounds the same as Bernie supporters. The difference is is that Donald Trump knows what he's doing, at least so far. He really blew it, though, with not following the rules for the, the convention. I assume it's because he really wasn't that focused on it because he didn't want to spend the money, thought he could get all this free media, and all the votes would just put him right in. Found out he couldn't get all the delegates, probably could not get enough. We've taken that position for a long time. And, and could not get enough votes uh, to win on the first ballot with the delegates. Um, in the, and so... He says, hey, I, I don't have to follow the rules. I can make my own rules. And he actually gets media to back him up. Yeah, it's not democracy. Of course it is. It's what it was, and it's been there. And, you know, you have parties in each state, and you have people work in the parties, and they set up the rules, and they're set up months ahead of time. And, and as, as, as Donald Trump says, I'm worth $6 billion. Should have been nothing for him to get guys to find the rules and make sure they followed them and got these delegates that they needed instead of letting Ted Cruz pull a back, back, uh, backdoor move on them. Ted Cruz is outsmarting him. I don't know, you know, if he can be president. We'll see. I, it's, uh, I don't, I don't think so. But at the same time, Donald Trump's incredible. So he gets up there and says it's a fix, it's a crime, it's this, it's that, and people are listening to him. And, and the commentators on TV are listening to him. And it's like, wow, this guy's too much. So it looks like he may pull out the Republican nomination. I don't know if they have the backbone if the, to really run a convention the way it used to be run. And it should be interesting. I'll say backbone. It's, I mean, you know, whatever. Uh, I'm not telling the Democratic or Republican Party to do whatever against Trump. It's their party. They can do whatever they want to do. It's like the Democrats can do what they want to do as long as the rules are known prior to the election and move forward from there. Just like if he is the Republican nominee and he wins in the in the uh, vote, in the, in the general election vote, but loses in the Electoral College, would that be a fix also? I mean, come on. But man, he's good. And man, he can take the message and run with it and really get people to go with it. And wow. But hey, man, you still got to play by the rules, just like everybody else. You can't change strikes. You can't change nine innings in a baseball game during the baseball game. You can't change four quarters in a football game during the football game. And you really can't change the delicate rules prior, I mean, after the vote has happened. So uh, if you lose, Mr. Trump on the first ballot, you lose. Do what it takes to win on the second. But man, can he control the media. And man, can he control the message. This man is too much. He belonged on Network. Network was written before he was around. But it's, uh, woo, he is good. So let's keep watching. Should be fun. This uh, Sela of election this next Tuesday should be interesting. We'll see if Kasich, uh, if Governor Kasich can get any uh any, any, any uh, delegates out of that and maybe slow him down a bit and then see where Cruz goes in Indiana and the others. Should be interesting, but man, it's so interesting what's going on here. This is just America. First Amendment, everything. What a great country this is. Peace.